run for my money Sipping bubbly, feeling lovely Living lovely Just love Tell me stuff okay, before we listen. start. You can't All just right. be trying to Take do two. Oh. What's up, guys? It's B. And B. Television. Uh, Y'all like that. Okay. <clears throat> what we telling them today, babe? We talking about how we met and how we got together. The real story. Not the fake story. She gonna tell y'all the fake though. How we met, we met in high school. Tell them how we met. We met in high school. How did we meet? We met in high school. I didn't want to talk to him because I thought he was a pothead. <laughs> and he hung out with lanes. He hung out with stoners. <laughs> Whoever watches this and hung out with him in high school. Just kidding. But no, I really did think he was like a bad guy, so I didn't want to talk to him. You know. Greatest guy ever, greatest guy in the world. Either way. And there was no point in talking More to him years. because he was just going to cheat on me. He was going to cheat More on me in high school, so. Out on, this is year that anyway. she out on this greatness of a guy. You got to speak up. They can't hear you. They can definitely. You got to talk in high school. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the first time we actually spoke to each other. But, um... He wanted me. <laughs> he wanted your girl in high school. <laughs> I wasn't trying to show him no love. She didn't show me no love. She really did me dirty, actually. Um, Go um, ahead and tell her. She just uh, she thought she was a player, player and shit. Am I allowed to cuss? Yeah. She thought she was a player player and basically she tried to run a little game. Got her little boyfriend or whatnot was off to college. Uh, I was a senior, she was a junior. And you know, I thought I was doing my thing because I was actually really trying to talk to her, trying to get to know her, blah, blah, blah. You know, I ain't treated like a lot of other girls that I was doing in high school. But um, whatever. Uh, I dropped her off at her uncle's house one day and she texted me right afterwards like I'm driving talking about I hope I'm not leading you on. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at my phone like showed it to my homie. My homie was in the car with me that we met through. AJ was like how we really like started talking. Like to each other, I believe. I, I believe. I don't know. He was but taking AJ, me to school in the morning. AJ was in the car with me. I showed the text to AJ, and he was just like, "Down, bro." He a country ass nigga. Down, bro. And I was like, "I know. I ain't even text her back." But that's another <laughs> whole event. Anyway, Next. that's how we Next. met. It wasn't that great. Next. Pretty good, me. We were in high school. So on to the how we got together. Um, so <laughs> I was so in funny. school. Don't mind my nails. I was in school in Charlotte, and at the like before I was at Charlotte, he went. He was at ECU because they gotta know the whole story. He was at ECU, and then I was at Charlotte, and then he transferred. To Wingate. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He transferred to Wingate and then he would be calling me, mind you, I was still dating my ex. He was call he would call me, <laughs> FaceTime me. But he would be drunk. Like every time he was drunk. So I'll be like, No. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna talk about? It's like 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning and you FaceTiming me like <laughs> and so then after that I graduated and I moved back home and he transferred to Winston y'all Winston is like 30 minutes away from our hometown he was following me like he transferred to be close to me 
but he wasn't going to admit that. So he transferred to Winston and you know, the same thing, like, can I come see you? Can I chill? Can we chill? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> I wasn't entertaining it. And so out of nowhere, I guess I was just like, you know what? I mean, he's cool. I'm cool. So we probably had a good conversation. So yeah, we would talk all the time. Like we would be on FaceTime talking about stuff talking about nothing and then I let him come over one time and he was drunk and feeling on me and whatnot and I told him he had to get out you gotta leave you gotta go cuz I'm not down I'm not down for this so he left <laughs> he left and then you know I like I put him on so we were working at the same place for a little bit. And we were about to have this big snowstorm. Like, I'm really giving y'all the background. This is the background. And then we got to speed up because it's going to be long. So, um, so it was this big snowstorm. I asked him if he'd go get me some groceries. And y'all, I trusted him to take my card and I made him a list of what I wanted. So he went and got me groceries. He came back and I just felt like, you know, I was obligated to ask him, you know, it's about to be snowing. Do you want to come over and you know, chill at my place and whatnot? And so we were with my roommates and we were chilling and we were having a good time. We were drinking and whatnot and, you know, things went down. But that's another story that'll be titled our first time. It was pretty good. It was pretty intense. Let him know, babe. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> it was very intense. Yeah, it was very intense. It was very intense. But, um, yeah, then after that, we just became best friends. We got really close. He went with me to pump my gas. He would go with me just to run little errands. Like, he was my, you know, my best friend. And so then I was like, I'm fast forwarding. You know, I asked him if he wanted to come with us on a family trip. Cause I'm like, You're, my family already knows you. I know it's gonna be your birthday, but I think it'll still be fun, you know? And we were gonna leave for a week. My brother was getting married and we were gonna be leaving for a week. And um, yeah, so he decided to come. <laughs> he decided to come. And it was just, we had a really good time together. Like, we had a really good time. And I don't know, like, what happened, but I just know on our way back, things just were different. Like, he was just, like, a little bit more mushy. Like, he wasn't really mushy at all at the beginning. So, he was mushy. Like, he was saying, like, he was going to miss me. And we were seeing each other almost every day, so... He says he had a conversation with his friend, Abdul. And Abdul is evidently the reason why we're even together. But he won't tell me what the conversation was about. So that's where my story ends, because that's just how I feel like, you know, everything happened. But I'm gonna let him give his little spiel and try to merge them in together at the same time so that this isn't like a Okay, first of all, first of all, I'm a year older than her. I transferred from ECU for my second semester of college. So I went to Wingate my second semester of college that winter or that spring semester starting in January. She was still in high school. She wasn't even at Palm Mitchell yet. So that exes out that little theory that I was following her. So I was already at Wingate whenever she got to Paul Mitchell. Um, second of all, um, I don't know where she got this. I was calling her, FaceTiming her. Like, it was out the blue or whatever. I don't even remember that. I remember exactly what happened. Um, I remember she was brought up because my friend, one of my homies used to mess with one of her homies. And then he was telling me about her. I was like, oh, I know a girl goes to Palm Mitchell too. And I remember 
blah, blah, blah. And then, like, the next day, right after we talked about it, uh, I was on Twitter. This is back when I had Twitter. Um, and we started writing each other. Just me and her, we was just uh, talking back and forth on Twitter. Like, not even mentioning each other. It was like sub tweets, <laughs> which was funny. And then she sent me her number again. So it ain't like I was just calling her out the blue. Like, she sent me her number. And then we started talking again, but she would never, like, I never saw her at all. Never would see her. I didn't see her until I got to Winston. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until I got to Winston, which was like a whole year and a half later, because I went to Wingate that semester and then a the whole year. So, that next year when I went to Winston is when I first started um, chilling with her. Blah, blah, blah. I did go over there. I was drunk. She didn't kick me out, though. Like, I had to leave, actually, because I had went to, I went somewhere with my home, one of my homies, and we was drunk, and then he was on his way somewhere, so it was either, like, he gonna drop me off in my car or what, and I was like, well, no, I got a friend that stays right by where you going, so you can just take me there while you do your thing. So I went over there, we chilled. She didn't kick me out. Like, she was really enjoying my company, actually. And I had to leave. Oh. I just had to leave because he, he was ready to leave. So I left, and then that was the beginning of that. That was the beginning of us hanging out. Um, I actually offered to get her groceries that one time that we chilled, and I offered to get her groceries. She didn't ask me. She didn't have to ask me. She, uh, oh, you're a good guy. I am a very nice guy, like very generous. I asked to get her groceries. She was at work. Um, I knew it was a snowstorm coming, and I was going to be in Greensboro that day. So I told her I'd get her groceries. I'm just nice like that. Like for people, you know, people that I cared about. Um, we have to tell you that high school, I'll tell y'all that high school stuff on on my own video. I'm gonna make my own videos too. So I'm gonna tell y'all about that, this high school <laughs> stuff on my own video, upload it, <laughs> and tell y'all what really happened. Cause girls like to try to finesse y'all like. Oh, whatever, like, keep going with the, the story. Best, you know what I'm saying? Like she's the best person ever, but whatever. Um, what else, what was I even talking about? You, I was enjoying your company. She's enjoying my company. I got her the groceries. And then, yeah, she did invite me on the family trip. We went to Orlando. We went to Wilmington first, then we went to Orlando. So I was gone for about two weeks. This was during my birthday. Before we left before my birthday, and we was gone for a minute after my birthday. So I was down there with her family for a long time. Uh, and we did have a great time. We had a great time, but we also went through some struggles together down there in Orlando. Um, just dealing with different stuff, so. What was we dealing with? Um, your parents. Oh. oh, okay. Go ahead. Ronnie and I, I know <laughs> y'all go, y'all might see it or somebody go tell y'all about it, but yep. Yeah. You? Yep. Y'all too. She be watching. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did have a great conversation while I was in Orlando. I had a great conversation. With one of my best friends, Abdul. Y'all look up Abdul up, man. Which um, evidently y'all won't hear the story. She'll until... never hear the story. I mean, I'm gonna I hear talk, the story you know I mean? because Abdul is gonna be his best man, and he has to, to get the best man best speech. He got to give the best man speech and tell. He's still not going to tell what went on in that tell. conversation. I don't want to know. Like, I got to know. Yeah, I mean, whatever. So, yeah, I had a great conversation with my man, Abdul. And then, um, you know how you just have a conversation with somebody and, like, you're having a conversation, but you're really not thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, afterwards, when you're reflecting on that conversation, you know, when you're just by yourself thinking about different things. I was just reflecting on the conversation and reflecting on what he said to me and I just realized I need to stop being stupid because I was being stupid. Um, this was like, this was like a whole year and a half later. 
and when we first start chilling. Um, when we first start chilling from that first, when I bought our groceries and all that, now, this was a whole year and a half later when I went on this family trip with them. So I just realized I need to stop uh, being dumb, stop playing myself, and really just settle down and make things serious. And that's how we got together. I mean, it was a little bit after that before we actually, you know, made it official. But yeah, I don't even know how that long was when after the trip the decision was made. Cause for him, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know. Thing was, Aiden was going to be leaving for a week. Um, what's that say? As I was saying, Aiden was going to be leaving for a week. And I just needed to get out the house. Like, I just needed to get out the house. I just wanted to, you know, be on my own. I wasn't in my own place. So, a hotel was my only option other than staying with him. But I didn't want to invade his privacy. You know, because we weren't together. So, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get a hotel for a week. Like, I was just set on getting a hotel. And I think I asked you if you, like, I think I asked him if he would even, like, if he would consider staying with me. Like, I was wanting to let him know that it didn't have to be on no, t on no like, weird stuff. Like, it was literally just. You know, I want your company and I don't want to be in a hotel alone. I don't want to get anybody else to stay with me. So, you know, do you want to stay pretty much? And he agreed. So I think we stayed in there the first night. And then I think the second night you asked me to be your girlfriend. Was it the second night? Or the, yeah, I think it was the second night. Yeah, it was definitely the second night. Yeah. It was the second night. We talked about it for like a long time. Yeah. Because we it was so much stuff that was like not said during the whole course of everything. Like we went through probably a year and some change. Me wanting him and him not wanting to commit or him making me feel like he was going to commit and then backing away. And then, of course, I was pregnant, and it wasn't with him, so that's a whole other, different type of story. That's a, that's a big type of different story. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, but the thing is, he was with me my whole pregnancy, like, that's just another type of story. People don't really understand where I come from. He was going to be here regardless, like, if I was not with him, if we never decided to, you know, commit, he was going to be in my child's life regardless because he was there throughout the whole thing. It's my nigga. Yeah. And he chose to be there even after I had you know, Aiden. my nigga and I was my baby. Yeah. So, we're one big happy family. But it definitely took some work and some time, you know, just falling your lap this way. People look at us and think that we're just the perfect couple, but it, it didn't just fall like that. Like, Dominoes didn't fall. Yeah, it didn't fall into place like that. We had to work for it, and we had to go through some stuff. If I didn't, I always say to other people, I don't think I've ever said this to him, but if I didn't go through what I went through with my child's father, I don't think I would have been ready Bryce like I don't feel like I would have been in the mindset that I am I don't feel like I would have been as mature as I am and I don't feel like I could have handled certain situations if it wasn't for that because she gets mad really fast like I don't know not mad but like annoyed and things get to her and I'm just like nonchalant. I don't be caring. <laughs> yeah, he don't care. He's really nonchalant. I really don't care about a lot of things. So it's like. But I'm yeah, way better than I used to be. Trying. Way better. It's a lot of stuff that he don't know that I let go of. That I wouldn't have let go of. Like after my relationship with my, or whatever you want to call that, with my child's father, I really... I wasn't as, I don't feel like I'm as aggy. 
Like I don't feel like I'm like as own, like just being na like nagging. Like I feel like I really try to avoid being the naggy type of girlfriend. I don't feel I like really I can't deal with that nagging. Yeah, I don't feel like I fuss at him about certain stuff, but it's certain things that I'm like, okay, I just but I can't. I know she be getting mad. Yeah, I he know knows when I'm mad. And then, I, but I don't but be caring. <laughs> He don't why, care. Why, he really just like, why? Like, why are you mad? It doesn't even make sense to me. I just say he's the yin to my yang because I'm up here and he's down here and he can't bring me back down. Or we'll just laugh because it's just like, wow. Yeah, I make her laugh when she be mad. Yeah. Because I'm, I don't know. I'm not, I feel like I'm goofy, but I'm not like, like when I say goofy, not like. Dumb, goofy, yeah, like not corny, like goofy. He just don't <laughs> care. That's really the only way to say it. Like he doesn't care, and the fact that he doesn't care, and I know like that's just him, is funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> cause she I be, be really laughing. mad. She be mad and laughing cause she know I don't care. Yeah, and I like you know when you mad at your boyfriend and you do little dumb shit cause you want them to like pay attention. Little oh, babe, what's wrong? That's not him. He'll just be like. <laughs> I don't care, but anyway, that's just how we roll. But anyway, anywho. But I'm still down for my baby. You know I got this shirt. I got these Let's shirts made. Let's put shirt. And these shit pretty big. Maybe that's what it was. But this concludes our how we met and how we got together video. If you guys have any other suggestions or um request just ask down below no, I don't have to give me any requests because I'm making my own videos evidently he's going to be making his own videos I didn't know that so that means we need to get another camera because we only no, have no, one no, no, no. I'm iPhone quality we don't have the iPhone 7 so I don't know how that's going to look I with blacked out spots on my phone Um, yeah any other requests just let us know down in the comments below we're down for anything and when I say anything I mean Anything, anything, any ideas that y'all have explicit, 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 <laughs> um, y'all want to know anything? We're pretty open. I'm pretty open to letting you guys know things. Fly Eagles fly. <sighs> He's an Eagles fan, but um, we're Eagles fan. Fly to the, to the fam. The BBTV fam. What should we call them? I don't know. I don't want to call. I want to call y'all. Say fam. Y'all the fam. Y'all the family. Okay, y'all fam. What's up, fam? Y'all gonna know some. <laughs> y'all gonna know some things that you know just friends don't know. Only fam knows. True. You know what I'm saying? True, true, true. Only fam knows. Okay. Bye, guys.